What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, we do upload Pokemon Go content related to PvP. So please consider subscribing to the channel if that is of interest to you. And if you're a returning subscriber like Greg Tulipani, thank you for the support. In today's video, we are taking a look at my first battles in Master League Season 4. And Master League definitely is not my strong suit, but Open Master League, I do perform better than Master Premier, where I am literally the bottom of the barrel. I totally suck at Master Premier. So with that said, if you guys want to submit some battles of your Master Premier battles, or even your Open Master League battles, I'd be happy to showcase them on the channel. Link is in the description. Now in today's video, we are going to be taking a look at a team featuring Kyogre in the lead with Giratina Altered Form and Dialga in the back. Obviously not the best team, but we're just getting started here trying to figure a couple of things out, get back into the Master League way of thinking. And with that said, let's get into the first battle right now. So we got the uncharacteristic background here today. Gonna get back to the regular wall tomorrow. But first matchup here is Mark X1. And we are leading Kyogre into a Dialga. So obviously one of the worst leads you could see. Obviously Blizzard could hurt, but you're likely never gonna get to Blizzard. Get starting off GBL in the right way with the Niantic weak connection. Gonna switch out into Giratina Altered Form, which is my safe switch. You can make the argument here that I could switch into Dialga, but I find that usually Dialga is a lot more easily hard counter than Giratina Altered, so I tend to switch into Giratina, but maybe I'll change that as the battles go on. So I'm gonna throw a Dragon Claw here. You saw I actually used the shield there. I don't necessarily think that's the correct play. My thinking here was that, you know, maybe he doesn't shield and I could like pull off some surprise win in like two shields or something, but not gonna happen. And at this point, I'm happy I took at least one shield from him, match shields, got him to a point low enough where I could come in and farm with Dialga and he shouldn't be able to get to another charge room. So that kind of worked out for me well. And because he had so little health, I'm actually able to have more health left over on my own Dialga. So he brings in Mewtwo here. And for some reason, I'm going for Draco Meteor, which is an epic mistake. I uh, was hoping to one shot here, obviously, but there's really no reason to go for Draco Meteor there. It costs more energy. I should just went straight for Iron Head and I would have had close to another Iron Head ready had I done that. So big mistake there. Kyogre comes in, I'm gonna throw this Surf at the Mewtwo, this one, okay, well, I had to take that side strike. I don't know what his third Pokemon is in the back yet, and he switches out, and it's his own Kyogre, so. Had I had the Iron Head, maybe we'd be in position. I needed to land that Surf there too to have any chance, really, but uh, unfortunately we were not able to do that, so I bring in the Dialga here. I could have got off the Iron Head had I not thrown Dragon Meteor, but that wouldn't be enough to KO Kyogre, because that does, like, maybe one quarter of its health, so. I don't think anything we would have done here would have played differently, the only thing there's that we made a mistake going for the Draco Meteor because I should have just went for Iron Head. But it wouldn't have really made a difference in this particular matchup. And we do lose the first match here against J Mark, so GG's there. Ryuno 9922. And of course, first time playing Master League in a long time, so mistakes are expected. Here we see a ground on. If I make a mistake in this lead, then I definitely have to start questioning my abilities. So opponent switches out into Melmetal and I'm gonna build up to a Surf and then switch out into Giratina here. Wanted to make sure I bank that Surf and let's see if we're, well I mean we're gonna catch a Rock Slide obviously so I'm gonna throw a Superpower at Giratina. So I'm gonna go for the Shadow Sneaks here. This is a very familiar matchup from Ultra League obviously. Giratina into Melmetal and it plays out just about the same way actually I think. Um, I think Melmetal wins the zero shields just barely like by an HP and Giratina wins once shields start being used. So here, because uh, we did get a bit of chip damage from the waterfalls, this is actually a much more favorable position to be in. So Rock Slide's gonna come through, and I'm going to throw the Shadow Sneak here. And I believe this will be enough to KO. If not, we should be able to Shadow Claw down. So we do Shadow Claw, and we have close to a Dragon Claw ready. He's gonna bring back in the Groudon, and at this point, I just want to chip away with Dragon Claws, because obviously he's gonna have to throw energy to get rid of this Giratina. Mudshot isn't doing anything here to us. So I'm gonna to get to a second Dragon Claw, this is pretty big. And then my, I could switch out here and just go for the Surf right away if I'm expecting it, but I don't wanna give up Switch advantage because I'm in such a good position. So I'm actually gonna just let the Giratina go down here to a Fire Punch and hope that he doesn't think I have a Surf ready and click it right away. So he doesn't switch out, this is perfect. He's gonna get the Shield or he's gonna to have to let the Groudon go down. So he does choose the Shield, expecting the Switch, he brings in Dragonite. So I'm gonna counter that with Dialga. And with a shield advantage here against Dragonite, this is a very dominant position to be in. And basically, I don't really have to shield anything here at this point. I could shield once and then commit to the farm down, but I'm going to throw this Iron Head. So let's see if he's going to choose to shield this. 
He is not, so it goes down. And his play here basically is to commit to a farm down, more or less, because we have two shields. But if he does that, we're going to be able to Dragon Breath down, so he has to throw. And then with Kyogre in the back, with two shields, there's pretty much nothing he could do because he's in waterfall range now. So we do take that match with the very favorable lead of Kyogre and Scroudon, of course. I am Chops18 here in match number three. 1-1 one, one starts so far. Kyogre into Mewtwo. So this is a pretty good matchup for Kyogre in general. You could win if you just use your shields, of course. But um, I am going to switch out because I don't want to waste two shields on Kyogre. So I was hoping to catch a side strike there maybe on the Giratina. It didn't happen, so the opponent brings in a Dialga. We're seeing a lot of counters to Dialga here, to Giratina here, I should say. Which, um, or rather, I should say we're seeing a lot of Dialgas being used to counter the Giratina. That's what I'm trying to say here. Pardon my noob terminology. But the Dialga here is... I'm not going to use any shields this time. You see, I'm playing it differently than the previous match where I did decide to shield. I'm not going to shield, and I think this is the way you should play it, not shielding anything. And just come in with the Dialga farm down here. And they shouldn't get to another move, which is great for us. So they're going to bring back in the Mewtwo here. Remember, he did have a move ready. So this has the potential to be a Focus Blast. So I'm going to shield up. It does go for the Psy Strike. And I'm going to go for this Iron Head here. Let's see if this gets the shield from the Mewtwo. It does. And now I'm going to switch out and go for the Surf. But I didn't have the Surf ready, which I thought I did before I switched out. So that was a little bit unfortunate. He's able to switch out into Kyogre to catch this Surf. And at this point, my thinking was that if he has Thunder, do I want to shield here? Probably not. And once I got off the Surf, I really didn't want to shield because this would put him now in farm down range for Dialga. So if he does throw Thunder, that's going to be a lot of energy he's wasting, of course. So he's definitely in farm down range. I don't think he'll be able to get to another move. If he'll be able to get Surf, it won't hurt. So my play here is to farm down completely. And I think the play here is to shield up this move and hope that we can farm down with Dragon Breath before he gets to a Focus Blast. Because Side Strike isn't going to KO here. He needs to get to a focus blast and we're able to farm down with dragon breath there so i really like the way i read the situation there and we did manage to pull off that win here um i was in the queue for a long time so i forgot to start recording but this is against the togekiss lead so sorry to whoever this battle is against didn't get your name but kyogre into togekiss this is basically a matchup of two heavy raw damage fast move users waterfall versus charm and in general this is much more favorable for Kyogre. So the opponent here is going to throw a move. This could be an H power, could be an aerial ace. Been seeing a lot of aerial ace tokus. It is a H power, so we do farm down with waterfall. Opponent brings in the Mewtwo. Getting off this surf is pretty huge as we face a little bit of lag. And let me clarify, the lag today was horrendous. The first couple sets was some of the worst lag I've seen. I actually switched out here into Giratina because I was anticipating that if he did have something like a crowd on the back, I wanted to keep that Kyogre alive. So I do bring in Giratina, and seeing a Groudon come in to counter Giratina isn't the worst thing, obviously, because Giratina has a pretty feral match against that. So I'm feeling pretty confident at this point. Gonna throw the Dragon Claws here. And we do still have two shields, and if you actually do manage to shield the Earthquake the first time, it definitely flips this match a lot. So we do catch the Earthquake there. And had that been Fire Punch, obviously would be in a tough situation. But because we did catch the Earthquake, that totally flips this match, and now we're in a great position with Giratina, so we're gonna catch this second Earthquake here. Totally fine, we have just about two Dragon Claws ready. So I'm gonna throw these back to back. And let's see if he's gonna look to switch out. His switch timer is probably up more or less about now. And we should be able to get rid of this Groudon before he's able to get to another move here. He switches out into Mewtwo. Gonna make him throw his energy here. So I have the option here to use the shield, but I decide I'm not going to because with that shield, I could just come in with the Dialga. Pretty much farm down the same way we did before. And it's going to be a GG there, so they pull us back out. Take that game. And we're going to move into the next match against Spiritmonger, double zero. So we are currently 3-1, and one. we're seeing Kyogre into Kyogre. Now, this PV Poke simulation here obviously shows that Kyogre versus a Thunder variant of Kyogre. So this is the mirror against the Kyogre using Thunder. That's why it says I lose, because obviously I'm running Surf and Blizzard. The way I played this was I actually looked at what his CP was first to see if I would win CMP to make sure that I could bait the Thunder by going to the seventh waterfall first.
So if he if he had 15 attacks, well, that'd be a little bit risky for me because I want to make sure I get off at least one surf. I knew he was going to hit me with Thunder, but I didn't want to shield that. So I let it go down so I could come in and farm with Dialga. But the main thing I'm trying to get across here is that I wanted that surf to go through and potentially get a shield from a Thunder because I knew I would win CMP there. So that's how I played it there. Now I bring in the Dialga, I farm down as you saw, and I go for the Draco meter on the on the Dialga. It went through and I was ecstatic at this point. And there is the main weakness to this team, Togekiss in the back. Especially with two shields, I can't do anything to it. Giratina and Dialga are both gonna be weak to that Togekiss. Obviously if I had my Dialga in the back instead of the Giratina, I'd have play because I go for Iron Heads. But with the Dialga solo now and this Giratina left, Nothing I can really do with the Togekiss having two shields left, so definitely something I'm going to have to think about going forward in future games, how to play this Togekiss kind of line in the back because it's definitely a weakness for this team. And as you can see here, this Togekiss is basically going to sweep us and there's pretty much nothing I could do. So it wins in very dominant fashion and definitely something I have to reconsider, go back to the drawing board and look at again other ways to play it. So. We do go 3-2, we go positive, and that's set 28-49, not too bad. So those were the first battles in Season 4 of the Master League. Now, I will admit that I do not feel as comfortable in Master League as I do in the Ultra League, and I don't have any team that I feel as confident with as I did with Double Ice in the Ultra League for the Master League. With that said, I'll probably be sticking to Open Master League for the most part, but if I do start struggling, maybe there's potential I go into Master Premier Cup. We'll see what I come up with in the coming days for Master League, but the reality of the situation is I definitely do not consider Master League one of my strongest leagues. So I am pretty close to rank 10, and I'm I'm hoping that I can hit it in Master League, but if not, we'll have to save it for the last week when all these come back in what is tradition for me basically waiting until the last day to make rank 10. So we'll see how things go. Hopefully it'll be a little bit different this season, but if not, it is what it is. If you guys enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like, commenting, subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.